Hi everyone, welcome to my playthrough of The Blackwell Legacy, the first game in a four-game series. So, what I know about this is it's an adventure game, as you probably obviously see. And I am a writer who discovers that she is a medium. That's about all I know, I don't want to spoil the story. And I've heard it's really damn good. So, let's get going. Um, sure. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Aww. Wherever you are. What a morning. At least I'm home now. There's a strange kid standing in front of Rose's door. I hate it when strange kids stand in front of people's doors. Okay, I'm thinking that help is probably just going to tell me stuff I already know from playing other adventure games, but just in case it tells me something I don't know, I'll leave it on for now. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. <laughs> what, you don't want to crawl into your home through the window? Through the barred windows? Okay, fair enough. Hey, strange kid. Honestly, he doesn't look like a kid, really. He looks... about as old as me. But anyway. How you doing, kid? You're strange. Hi um, hi? So who are you visiting today? Um, none of your business? I don't... I'm not really sure exactly what these options mean. Express surprise at him? At his statement? At him inquiring? Make an inquiry about what? I, I don't know. Make an inquiry about why he's there? That's what I want to do, so why are you there, strange kid? What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Yeah. How about I call the police? Sympathy. I'm not going to ask for sympathy from this asshole. Not going to do that either. Sweet facts. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right. Jim, where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. 
you lived here, you'd have seen him. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Okay, how about I show him the address on my ID card or something Listen, like that? Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. I really hate this prick. I am not appealing for sympathy. I'm not gonna threaten violence. Ask for help? In what way? Do I have proof? I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Well... Ask for help about what? Uh, I guess I'll ask about the strike. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Ask for help? Okay. I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. What? How would you know that she can vouch for me? Who is this Nis... uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait oh, here all great. day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. Well, that's where I'm headed. Or state the obvious. Well, there's no point in that. I'll be back. See you around. Okay, that's all pretty standard stuff so far. Rosangela? I don't think I've ever seen that name before. I think I'll just keep saying Rosa. It's a bit of a mouthful. 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 Right click. Okay. Dr. Donald Quinton. That was nice of Dr. Donald Quinton. Um, how do I close out of this? Ah, there we go. Alright, well, I hate this prick. The windows look into the lobby of the building. I guess I'll go look for the perk. See if I can find that Nishant. Whatever her name was. Hmm. Well, if you psychiatric hospital, is that where the doctor was? Was that a psychiatric hospital? Oh, I guess I'll go to the park first. See if I can find Nishanti. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm.
What happened? Did a dog bite a child's face off or something? The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. The dog park... Mmm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Yeah, it sure wouldn't be fun to be, uh, denied entry to your own home. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Or, wait, no, that's not. That's a dog. Never mind. Uh, hello? I don't hi, think dog. so. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh, come on, pet the dog. You know you want to, Rosa. I don't think so. I think He's so. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. I noticed. He's wearing... Okay. Damn thing's following me around. Let's see if it'll follow me over here. Nope. Bye, doggy. <laughs> it's, it's getting wrapped around the pole. Ha ha. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. Ah, Nashanti. I'm betting. There, all better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you! The lady next door! Yeah, hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No, nope. Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Nope, but the asshole doorman has. I'll compliment the little dog. It has gusto. That's a cute dog you've got. <laughs> oh my god. That Isn't was not convincing. Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, great. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um. Yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Hey, asshole. How you doing? Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rosangela. She lives here. She does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Hmm. Well, you said you knew everyone in the building. So obviously, you don't, you fucking prick. Egotistical asshole. Sarcastic. Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well... Never mind. Just get out of my way. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors, after all. Yeah, I guess. What does that have to do with him being an asshole? <laughs> Looks like somebody is hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Oh, she doesn't even really know me. She's inviting me in. I say he's surprised. Really? Yes, really. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Hmm. Joke. Oh, I have three great roommates. 
Oh, yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. <laughs> um, it's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know? Yes, it is. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Strange? She didn't seem strange at all. Quite nice, actually. <laughs>